Hey guys, I'm back. I know you're saying, what? Two videos in a row? What's wrong with that girl? She got fever? I do not. But I was going to uh, play around and style them, and I thought, why not type it? Alrighty, well, let me see if you can see I am short, and I probably could... I'm gonna bring this down just a tad. Alrighty, you can see the length of them. Alrighty, and we're going to do a style. So I'm going to have you come up. I'm looking in the mirror in the back of the camp so I can see that I got you guys. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna show you how I do um, what I call a basket weave bun. Hopefully it comes out right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in the mirror and get started. Okay, what I do is I grab these, and as you can see, I did trim them. I do not burn the ends because when I'm doing my bun and I'm tucking the ends in, I don't like when it's burned. It scratches my scalp and uh, just causes me problems. So I like them soft on the ends. So I just tie them in a knot so that uh, they're still soft on the ends of them. Alrighty. And I'm going to grab the hair like this. I'm going to let you see it in the back. Like that. And then I will take it and I will twirl like this. And that's just to start the bun. Like so. Sometimes I like to leave the ends on the hair because they're easy to tuck. Because now I have these little blunt ends and so I have to work just a little bit harder to get them in. But since they're not rough and I didn't burn them, they won't harm my scalp and they'll be safe. Now, you can decide if you don't want it this far up. You can put it further back. So let me let you see what it looks like. That's it. I have to use my mirror so I can see that I'm showing you. I'm it is. Okay. Now to start the basket weave, I'm going to grab hair. I'm going to grab three braids right here, and they're gonna go to the opposite side. And I'm going to wrap them around the bun and tuck them. Then I'm going to grab three braids up here, a little bit further up, and they're gonna go the same opposite direction and then I tuck them. Now I'm not too concerned about shaping the bun yet. Whoa. But now that I come on this side, that means I go back on this side and I'm gonna grab some more of the hair and I'm going to go back around. I hope this come out good, guys, because these are thicker braids than what I usually do, so we gonna see how this Turns out. Alrighty. Then we're going to go on the opposite side and grab it going this way. Oh yeah, I do have some that want to do what they got to do, but you can always grab your bobby pins and finish and fix it. Alrighty. I'm going to go. And let you see the back. Which side did I go? <laughs> okay, and now we're going to go grab some braids from this side. And I'm going to go this way. And then I'm going to grab some from this side. And go this way. Yeah. And grab this side. 
Let's go this way. Now I can't see the front, so we're going to have to take a quick look. And then the last, I'm going to go this way. Now, my bun is normally, like I said, not this huge. But since they're thicker, yeah. I don't know if the basket weave came out. All right, I have some that don't want to do what I tell them to do. Let's see. And that's how I get, and that's why I like to put color in the back. Because as you can see, and that's how I get my basket weave bun. Yeah, y'all. Now, if I wanted to continue to mold the bun, I can by just getting some bobby pins and securing anything I feel is not secured. Um, like I said, tucking anything that's not tucked, but this is the basis of it. So if you ever do any type of braids and you put like a couple of colors in the yarn, if you're using yarn braids or if you're using a synthetic hair, you get another color, then you could kind of do the basket weave where you just kind of switch up and you get this really intricate looking design. Now, if I had to put more brown back there, then I would have did it even, got even more of a distinct one. But that's what I do because sometimes just the regular bun going up is cute. But hello, tell me that ain't cuter. I hope you guys enjoy this little basket weave bun tutorial. What is that? Anyway. I hope you guys are having a great day, great night, great evening, whichever one. But I hope you're blessed and being a blessing. Peace out.